Hello YouTube, welcome to my installation of Windows onto a Mac machine allowing you to play top titles like Battlefield and Wolfenstein and Watch Dogs. To do this you will need a copy of Windows 7 or Windows 8, the 64-bit edition. You will also need a USB stick, uh, about 4 gigabytes, and you'll probably need a wired mouse if you're using a wireless keyboard and mouse just for a moment or two just while you get the Bluetooth configured. Um, so let's begin. I've had a lot of people comment, how do I run the latest games like Watch Dogs and Wolfenstein and Battlefield and Call of Duty? How do you run them on a Mac? Well, it's quite simple. Basically, you need to get a copy of Windows running on the Mac. Um, luckily, Apple give you all the software and help you need to do this. And it's quite simple, really. The theory is that you split the hard drive in half making one half of the hard drive run your Mac software and the other half running your newly installed Windows. And you use this um, by using something called Boot Camp. Boot Camp is already on your computer. I'm running the latest IOX um, Yoshimite, I think it's called. It's quite hard to pronounce for me anyway. But it'll run on Mountain Lion and it'll run on Mavericks. It's, it's very simple to do. First of all, you'll need a couple of things. You'll need a CD drive, um, possibly a USB stick, and maybe a blank CD, and a good internet connection, really. So first of all, as you can see, if we look at the hard drive, it's partitioned as one single hard drive. What we need to do is we need to add a boot camp drive here, and boot camp of Mac runs in um, what's it called? Mac OS Extended Journal. What we need to do is split that hard drive there, one single hard drive, and we need to split it so that one half is Mac, one half is Windows NTFS. And the way we do this is we go into Launchpad. Click on Others and go to Boot Camp Assistant. And this will click Continue. And there's the options we've got. At the moment, we need to download the latest Windows support software from Apple. And that is basically all your drivers for Win uh, Windows. So that'll be the drivers for your Mac, FaceTime camera, your sound, your graphics, your processor, all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is put a USB stick in the back of the computer. You need to make sure that your USB stick is formatted into BAT format. Now the way you do this is you click on Disk Utility. You will see your USB stick that you just put in highlighted here. What you need to do is erase it. You need to click on this MS-DOS FAT. FAT, MS -DOS FAT. Click on that, click erase, click erase, and that will just wipe you all the data off your USB stick, so be careful. Um, it will delete your USB stick and reformat it as a blank USB stick, nothing on it, but it will be in fat format, because that means Windows will be able to read it. So click continue, select the USB stick, click continue. And that will download from Apple all the drivers needed. So that will take a minute. Right, so the um, Windows support driver from Apple software has been downloaded. I think it's probably installed on the USB stick. Yep, yeah, there we go. So that's installed onto the USB stick. It's asking us to put in our Windows disk, so we shall do that. Like I said, it needs to be a Windows 64-bit edition. Um, I have tried 32 bits and it, it, it didn't install. It came up with an error message. And I'm going to click Continue. Now this is the part where it asks us how we would like to partition our hard drive, how we would like to split. 
At the moment you can see iOS X takes up quite a bit of space and it's saying Windows needs a minimum of 20 gigabytes. And what we're going to do is you can split it how you like. Um, now I only need about say 200 gigs just for a few games to play. Um, so I'm going to do it like that. That's how I like to have my drive partition. And then we click install. Now this is quite a sensitive part. You need to make sure that your computer is not going to crash. There's no programs running that can make your computer crash or cause problems. I Nine times out of ten, it partitions fine. I did have one occasion where it got here and it froze. And it just froze and froze and froze for hours. You know, it should only take a few minutes, if that. But when it did it for me, it froze for hours. I built in the computer down, had to force, hold the power button down uh, to turn the computer off. And it just knackered my drives up, basically. Um, and it took a long time to get it repaired, get it fixed. Um, so it is very sensitive, make sure you don't cancel it, make sure you don't do anything. Hopefully it will run smooth. And there you go. Now you can see in the type in the on down here, I now have a boot camp hard drive. So at the top I've got my Mac drive and at the bottom I've got my new boot camp hard drive and that's for Windows to install onto. Now the computer should restart, so I'm just going to stop recording. There we go, and the computer restarts. This would be a good point to remove the USB stick with all the Windows drivers on that you just downloaded from Apple. Now it's going to reboot, and when it reboots, it should boot up with a Windows installation screen. Now, if your computer doesn't reboot into the Windows load screen, and you get a message saying boot device not found or something similar, reboot the computer holding down the Alt Option key of the keyboard. Keep this pressed down while the computer boots up, like I'm doing here, and you will see a pop-up screen come on, and that will let you select the Windows CD that you're using to install Windows from. I want to boot from the Windows CD that I've put in the drive, so I'll click on that. Choose an operating system. I want to start Windows. You'll see lots of different hard drives available to you. Now remember, we partitioned it for 200 gigabytes and it was called Boot Camp. So scroll down, there it is Boot Camp, just under 200 gigs it partitioned it. So select it. What we need to do now is format it again quickly. So Drive Options, Format, that'll delete everything. Da -da -da -da. Formats it. Again, back down where it was there it is 186 partition thing so that's where now where we need to install our windows so click next and then that starts the long process <laughs> very long process of installing windows
Right. So there we are, Windows on the Mac. First of all, you'll notice the screen resolution is probably a bit out. Um, and there's lots of missing things um, in Device Manager. So what we need to do is get our USB with all the Apple drivers on that we downloaded earlier. Place that into our computer. So open up the USB, go into boot camp, click on setup. And that will start to install all the Apple drivers that we need. That will just make our Windows computer run properly and as it should with all the hardware installed correctly. One of the first things you want to do once you get Windows up and running on your computer is update the uh, NVIDIA drivers. Now the USB, the drivers that you downloaded onto the USB should be good enough to play all the latest games. So it's always best to go direct to NVIDIA themselves and update your graphics drivers that way. As it's installed the drivers, it's disconnected the keyboard and mouse because there are obviously Bluetooth keyboards and main mouse. So what I have done is I plug in a separate mouse. So I went into control panel, devices and printers, add a device, my magic mouse is showing up there, click next, waiting for it to connect. So my mouse is now working. Right, then I need to hit to find my wireless keyboard. So I need to power the keyboard down, add a device again, power the keyboard on, there it is. Number one, nine, six. And that should be, yeah, and that's working now. So there's them two devices up and running. Um, so the first thing I want to do go to NVIDIA and install the correct drivers so I know that my the GeForce um, 600 M series 
six, 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 ten, I think it is, that. Sixty-five bet, six touch, five. Time I can disconnect my USB because I don't need that anymore. I can eject my Windows disk, don't need that anymore. Well, that's doing that. It starts, it's time to start installing games. So I just install them the, the same way you would do any other game. Um, so I would go personally to Origin. drivers and origin downloading. Uh, you basically have it, Titanfall is downloading and should be ready to play very soon. Just got to wait for these graphic drivers to update. But that's basically it. This is the important bit. You need to know how you're going to boot your computer up. You need to know if you want to boot it into Mac or if you want to boot it into Windows. On the keyboard, press and hold the Alt key. And then power on your computer, keeping the key pressed on the keyboard. that will take you to the options menu of how you want to boot up your computer. There you go. So you can select Mac or Windows. And there you go. So your Windows is all ready for you to install and play the latest games. Um, if you want to go back to Mac, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Like I said, boot down, hold the Alt key, boot up, keep the Alt key pressed down. You get a little menu where you can select what you want to, what operating system you want to boot up into. Um, there's also in the bottom right hand corner, if you right click on Boot Camp, you have the little option to restart in OS X. So you can also do it that way. Um, but that's it basically. All the Watchdogs and Call of Duties and Battlefields can be played by downloading the PC version or putting in the PC disc or however you get your games. Just install it onto Windows. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave comments in the comment box boxes below. Um, 
or check out my other YouTube videos of me actually playing games in Windows on boot camp on my um, iMac. And this is it, just found me booting back into Yes, you might. Hear that name. Now you can also see the boot camp hard drive is there. If you click on that, you can see the Windows operating system installed on it. So, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out my YouTube page um, and pop back to see some more videos.